Today, I'm going to tell us the story about baby Moses. Some of the things we'll need for our story today are a Bible, some crayons, our markers, some paper, a piece of white paper, and a paper plate if you have it. If you don't have a paper plate, you can just cut a circle off a big piece of paper and that will work just fine. And also, if you have construction paper, a blue piece of paper would be nice. Here you be. You have paper right there. So, I'm going to cut us a little baby Moses out of paper. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Little baby Moses. This is my little baby Moses. And I'm going to color, color, color him. Let's see. I'm going to color him a green blanket. And a brown face. And I'm going to put some eyes on him. And a nose and a little baby smile. All right, there's my baby Moses. The next thing I'm going to do is cut my paper plate kind of in half, but not exactly in the middle, so that I have one big half circle and one small half circle, just like this. And I'm going to take my little circle and put it right up against my big circle so that I have a little gap in my paper plate. And then take stapler and staple. Right, staple. Staple, staple, staple. Just a minute. The bop, bop. bop, bop. Sometimes things break. We're going to try to fix our stapler real quick. Do, do, do. Do, do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. All right, we'll try that again. Staple, staple. All right, now I'm going to tuck my baby Moses right inside my basket. You could also color your basket, too. Yeah. All right, so you can pause the video and work on your little baby Moses crap because we need both of them for our story today. All right, so our story today comes from Exodus 2. Verses 1 through 2. I'll just put this over here so you can look at that if you're looking in your Bible. So, this is our Bible. Let's open it wide. Listen to God's story that's told inside. So, we're going to turn to Exodus 2. So, the first book is Genesis. The second book is Exodus. And we're going to look for that big number 2. And that little number one. All right. So the fun thing that you're going to do in our story today is when I say Moses, you're going to hold up your little Moses. If you didn't do our craft today, you could use a doll and that will work just fine. So I have a little baby Moses right here. You could just hold up a doll when I say Moses. And when I say basket, we're going to hold up our little basket. So you can either use your craft or you can go find a basket in your house. So I'm going to put our craft right there and while I tell the story. All right. Far away in the land of Egypt, there lived a mama and a dada and a little girl whose name was Miriam. One day, a new baby brother was born into this family. They named this baby Moses. The baby's family loved their little boy very much. Moses, his family, took very good care of him. Moses' mama made sure her baby had plenty to eat and a nice soft blanket to sleep in and a basket. Moses' mama rocked her baby in his basket and sang and spoke to him so softly. She did not want Pharaoh, the ruler of Egypt, to know that she had a new baby named Moses. You see, the Pharaoh had made a rule that all the baby boys 
born to God's people, must die. Moses' mommy was very scared, very frightened. She wanted to keep her baby boy safe, so she hid him so no one would see him. But Moses kept growing and growing and growing until he was too big to hide, too big for his basket. So Moses' mama made a new basket, one that wouldn't leak, and she covered it in pitch so that it would float, float, float. Moses' new basket looked like a boat. Moses' mama tucked her baby boy into the basket and put it in the river. She set the basket gently into the water and told his big sister Miriam to go and watch over it. And when she, so Mary, Miriam was watching and watching as the baby floated down the river. Until the baby came to a spot in the river where Pharaoh's daughter was taking a bath. When Pharaoh's daughter saw the basket floating in the water, she peeked inside. There was baby Moses smiling back at her. What a surprise! Oh, what a surprise! <laughs> the princess decided to keep baby Moses as her baby. Miriam was still watching her baby brother, so she ran up to the princess and said, I know just the right person to take care of baby Moses for you until he is big enough to eat big kid food. Well, who do you think she ran to find first? Grandpa. She ran to find her mama. Grandpa. Mm -hmm. So Moses got to go back to his own home with his mama until he grew a little bit bigger than his basket. And then he went to Pharaoh's palace to live with the princess. God kept baby Moses safe and he grew up to be a very important part of God's plan. So, you can retell the story with a baby doll and a basket if you have and the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to take our basket. Hey, Jonathan, what happened to our baby Moses? Do you have it over there? Hmm. We'll make another one. Oh. Hmm. We'll make another baby Moses. We're going to make a new baby Moses because we happen to have lost our baby Moses. Maybe you can see it and we can't. All right, here is our baby Moses tucked into our basket and we are going to put him on some water and then if you'd like to, you can do some decorating. Here, Jonathan, here, let me move this. You can do some coloring. Yeah, baby Moses, there we go. Ryan, that Jonathan and I, thank you, that Jonathan and I are going to practice. It says, a basket, yes, thank you, a basket for a little boat, down the river, watch it float, baby Moses tucked inside, a perfect place for him to hide, a basket for a little boat, down the river, watch it float. Baby Moses tucked inside, the perfect place for him to hide. You want to do it with me one more time, Jonathan? A basket for a little boat. Baby Moses tucked inside, the perfect place to him for him to hide. Again. Woo! <laughs> Tumble bumble, baby. Do you need a snuggle? A basket for a little boat Down the river, watch it float Baby Moses tucked inside 
the perfect place for him to hide. We know that God was taking care of Moses when his mama tucked him into the basket and put him in the river to float. Just like God is taking care of you and taking care of me. And even when we feel afraid, we can know that God is watching over us and taking good care of us. And that's why God gave us mommies and daddies to get, take good care of us. <laughs>